you might ask, why don't I just use my finger? Well, I'll go ahead and address that right now. Uh, when you're using a material like graphite, if you use your finger to blend, what happens is the oil in your finger actually transfers to the graphite on the surface and it almost turns it into somewhat of a paint media. And uh, it actually just works itself into the paper and it becomes really hard to erase and actually have less control with the tip of your finger. Um, your finger is a lot bigger than the tip of a tortilla or the tip of a blending stop. Kind of, so that's again, make a little bit of a mental note of that. And then right underneath this portion of the eye, it's going to get a little bit darker as well. And kind of to make a smooth gradation of value or a smooth gradation of application of the graphite. I'm going to make little small circles as I'm um, with a lighter gray than what I think it should be because I can always go back and rework that if need be. And I haven't pulled out my paper towel yet. That graphite gets on the, the tip anyway and you can almost draw with the tip of the, the blending stump or the blending tortilla. Sometimes you you have to be bold. If you're timid about what you're doing, sometimes that can make you second guess everything you do. And if you're second guessing what you do, I'm going to go ahead and begin to darken out some of these areas that we just went over and I mentioned need to be darker. Reflection of what's around the eye here in this case. All right, now while I have this in hand, I'll go ahead and start pulling out some of these out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. And again, there is no way, well, I'm sure there's a possible way, but you're going to drive yourself crazy if you try I'm gonna go ahead to and erase out some of that area that I've already put down in this little white or lighter area, a little bit lighter in value before I go back and enhance some of the scale areas. next to your drawing and just trying to match the values that you see in your photo reference or in the subject that you're drawing with the values on your value scale. You can even put numbers. That iris makes contact with the edge there of the eye lid. I guess the bottom part of the eye is called the that would not be the lid. Now we really could spend some good old quality time with this middle part of the eye, but I think we're ready to start moving on outward. I'm, I'm really kind of uh, trying to create texture. In fact, I usually work on textured charcoal paper in order to kind of enhance that texture a bit. But, you know, everybody is different. Everybody likes different kind of stuff. Just kind of softly work that on. I'm glad you were able to get back on. I was concerned about that. If you're watching this in the future, light, well medium light compared to the darker area and uh, then it gets lighter again. And of course we need to kind of compare that with the other side. Over sure. here on the top of the eyelid and then as it comes down right here a line that's happening here for yeah, the talk for tonight's the... purposes. I think what I'll do is I'll kind of work in areas because typically I'd probably try to force myself to be patient and uh, go ahead and apply all this graphite and then work it in with the blending stop all at one time. The merits of the work. The work should not be judged upon the steps that you took and I really don't see how using a blending stop is cheating even then because Now, um, it has taken us a while to draw this, this eye Top. And with the blending stump. Now, you can pick up blending stumps. I don't think I mentioned this, but you can pick up blending stumps at your local art store or online. Or somewhere. And I'll have this lesson up in a, a couple days. Sometimes I'm able to do it a little quicker. Some days it takes, sometimes it takes a couple days. And a uh, darker value down right underneath here. Again, I'm going going quick just to get this little bottom part. And that at least gives us a little bit more dimension with the eye. 
just a little bit more three-dimensional. Remember, it don't have to be exactly like your photo reference, just like when we did the, the iris part of the eye. You can't get obsessed with making it perfect. Tillion, the whole time, didn't use the blending stump at all, but they're the same, except blending stump, or blending stump is kind of compressed paper, and a blending tortillion is kind of rolled up paper. I saw that was out of the camera view. Uh,